Holy Christ, I don't know where to start by reviewing Godzilla, it's just, <laughs> I'm still just trying to get over all the stuff that happened and I just can't think of what to say. But anyway, let me just start by saying I've not seen the other Godzilla films, so I won't be comparing the new one to the old one, or old ones, because I've never seen the old ones. So I can't make that comparison, that's not my area to uh, investigate in because I've not seen the old ones. So I just went into Godzilla knowing nothing about Godzilla other than the fact that they were like a giant dinosaur mutant mon monster or something attacking cities and things like that. And I know that Jap the Jap Japanese actually believe in Godzilla thanks to Austin Powers 3 they actually think it's Godzilla. But anyway that's a different story for a different day. So Godzilla basically is all about Brian Cranston who works at this power plant that gets all destroyed, blown up and stuff, well not blown up, sort of collapses in on itself and he starts investigating everything as to how it collapsed and how he lost his wife at the beginning of the film and it basically just leads to Godzilla coming out of the ocean and woof we have a film I don't know where to start, I really don't basically let me, first of all let me just say the special effects in this film, pff, oh my god, unbelievable unbelievable special effects in this film, especially Godzilla and um, Godzilla, and I need to talk about Godzilla, sorry, I'm just muddling up my words a bit, but Godzilla's got to be one of, if not the best, in-film creature I've ever seen in my life. And that's, it's a really big thing to say, even though, and I've seen Smaug in The Hobbit too, and I thought that was awesome, because it was played by a dude, but Godzilla is just something I was like 500 times bigger than Smaug. And I'll, I'll, I'll never forget one thing about this one, the first time you ever see Godzilla in his full form It's just the camera pans up to him and you just see him there He's like, massive ass roar, and I really like his roar, do you know at the end of the trailer we hear that roar and that, that like, tremor noise He does that every time he roars, it's, oh my god, it's sending shivers down me, it was awesome um, The acting in this, Aaron Taylor Johnson is, is surprisingly the main character in this film I thought it was going to be Brian Cranston, but no. Um, Aaron Taylor Johnson, aka Kickass, and upcoming Quicksilver in Avengers 2, plus his wife in the film, Elizabeth Oslin or something. I can't remember her name. Sorry, she's going to play Scarlet Witch in Avengers 2 as well. Just I just like that little comparison there. Aaron Taylor Johnson is the main character in this film, and at first, he doesn't believe his dad is saying that all oh, this wasn't a natural disaster. It wasn't a typhoon whatever, he's like, he's thinking he's like, dad, you're crazy, all oh, this is not real, but then when, when it is real, he's like, yeah, I gotta fight, he's a soldier, so he can fight Godzilla, and there was a very lot of things I did not expect about this film, a lot of things I did not expect, I can't tell you because I think it would be spoilers, I really want to tell you, but it's just spoilers, isn't it, but the, I love this film, it's awesome, I was like walking out there, like kind of shaking because of how much, how much I loved it. Um, the acting, yeah, it's, it's pretty good acting. Um, it's more about the humans than Godzilla in this film, so I didn't expect that bit, but it plays off. And Godzilla does it live up to the hype for me? Yes, it does. So I will say, Godzilla is worth watching at your local cinema. Definitely worth watching. So I want to know if you've seen Godzilla or if you plan to see Godzilla, are you looking forward to watching Godzilla? If you have seen Godzilla, what did you think about it? Put it in the comments below and I'll get more reviews to you back as soon as I possibly can.